Hello everybody and welcome back to hifimusicsource.com. Today I'm just going to talk you through a recent article that I wrote about how to upgrade your old name classic equipment to get it to the sort of quality that the new name classic equipment can deliver. The reason that I wanted to do this video and I wrote the article in the first place is because I own this uh, XPS power supply this name NAC N272 streaming preamplifier and I also own next door the NAP, the old NAP 250 um, I think it's the 250.2 uh, that is not DR which is one of the issues that, that I may have so the, the problem the problem occurred because I reviewed the new name classic equipment that you can see on my website um, and the new version of the 272 is the NSC 222 the new version of the XPS is the NPX 300 and the NAP 250 is still a NAP 250. Okay, okay so the, the issue that we have is that the new name equipment is very expensive. It's around about £6,200 a unit. So I can't afford that. So I then thought to myself, having been to Bristol this year, which is also on the website, I went to one of the Cord Company demos where they demonstrated the uh, some Burnley cable upgrades for the old name equipment and various other bits of equipment that you can install to improve the the quality of the data signal that's flowing between the uh, the preamplifier and the amplifier. So I thought I would explore that, explore the prices of that. And the upgrades that I'm going to show you in the next part of the video sum up to over £2,500, so still quite a lot of money. The reason for wanting to make these upgrades is because I'm always going to feel in my in my mind that there is better equipment out there than I have already but I know that I can't afford it so I think these upgrades are going to help me get that little uh, monkey off my shoulder where I'm sat there when I'm listening to music thinking oh this could be so much better so that's the purpose of writing this upgrade article I'm just going to talk you through the four upgrades that I put in my article on hi-fi music source you can see three of them here the first upgrade that I proposed was the Burn DX cable, which is the power cable from the XPS to the preamplifier. So this is driving the power in the preamp. Uh, the, the key things here is the screening and the vast reduction in noise coming into the preamplifier. The second upgrade that we've made to the system is introducing this Signature X analog cable from the preamplifier to the power amplifier um, and this, this, this suggestion was actually made by Cord Company themselves. The advantage of this cable is it's more efficient in its handling of the analog signal, that it's screening that's helping the reducing uh, RF noises, that kind of thing. So this is quite a nice cable to introduce. The third upgrade that we've got here is the introduction of this EE1 um, Ethernet filter that you can see on the far side there. You might notice in the video that I've actually swapped it round. It is directional. We take the Ethernet um, uh, signal from the router, pass it through the filter, it removes all the nasty noises and electronic noises that we need, filters them, puts them into the preamplifier streamer and we get a cleaner signal and it just tidies things up quite nicely. The fourth upgrade that I suggested in my article on the website is the introduction of the node of a blue sound node. So this is the node X. Uh, it's a great bit of kit basically. The key thing about this for me personally is I can stream Cobuzz from this into the NAC 272 which does not support Cobuzz. Um, I've just put the node X in situ here. Obviously I've got my name equipment on a rack and I would have the node separately isolated from the system. I have it plugged in on my rack using an optical uh, Toslink feed into the preamplifier. I prefer optical, you might prefer coax and that's fine. Um, each to his own. Put, put in the comments if you prefer coax over optical. I prefer optical, that's the way it is. But the Node X really is a really effective way of getting uh, the Coba signal into the preamplifier. Um, the DAC inside the 272 is perfectly good enough for, for my level of listening. And it gives me that flexibility. Of course, Blue OS is the best streaming 
um, application that we have out here. So another reason for making this upgrade. Uh, just wanted to talk you through the prices of these upgrades. The Burn DX cable is 880, £880. Pounds. Uh, the Signature X is £1,050. These are April 2024 prices. The EE1 is around £300, I think. And the Node X, as we speak, is 549 What I'd say is if you've got any upgrades that you think I should make to this system or any other thoughts that you may have about upgrading this system or what you've done to your system, drop a comment in the bottom. I'm always reading the comments and replying to them, so... Uh, please make a suggestion there. Um, that's the end of this video. If you've liked it, please hit the like button, hit subscribe. We're nearly at a thousand subscribers so we can make more of these. And thank you for watching. See you for the next one.